Today I'm going to make a very quick and easy trifle using our coppice cake gluten-free sponge. I'm going to try and get it down as close as I can to two minutes. I cut the coppice cake lengthways in half and then generously cover with a good quality jam. We're lucky enough to have had this made by a neighbour, Caroline. It's a black currant one. It really doesn't matter, whatever you fancy. I would say that the red gives a really nice colour. Depending on what you want to build your trifle in, these are going to be individual trifle pots, will dictate how much sponge you actually need because you don't want to fill the glass up. You've got to need a lot of space for your fruit and other toppings. So that, for example, is ample. I've then got a selection of frozen berries which are going to defrost in about an hour's time but you can stick them in now and in an hour this will be perfect to serve. I've got blueberries, raspberries and a big fat juicy blackberry to stick in there. I'm then going to slosh in my booze of choice. Of course you can do a teetotal version with fruit juice. This is Somerset Cider apple brandy but you could use amaretto, any lovely liqueur that goes nicely with fruit. That will then seep into the sponge and the fruit berries, getting a generous scoop of creme fraiche. Again, you need to, excuse very clean fingers, you need to leave enough space for your topping of posh custard, which I'm going to pour straight from the tub. I did say it was quick and easy cheats trifle. We're not going to fill to the top because we think it looks nicer just coming short of the top of the glass like so with a little knife. Just quickly round off. You may need as I do just to top it up so you can't see the berries in the front like so. So you've got it all covered and then to finish I love freeze-dried raspberries crumbled up which again is quite a cheaty finish in touch, like so. Finish with a fresh raspberry on top, optional, circa 1982, a liberal dusting of dark chocolate shavings. And voila!